Home of the Brave by Katherine Applegate. Lessons. I'll let you get settled, Dave says, but first I'll give you some lessons. Your aunt and your cousin know these things, but you'll need to know them too. Number one, he says, always lock your door. Ganwar, show Keck what a key looks like. In my old home, my real home, my father kept us safe. We had no need for locks. Number two, he says, this is a light switch. He pushes a tiny stick on the wall and the room turns to night, then blinks awake. In my old home, in my real home, the sun gave us light and the stars watched us sleep. This thermostat, Dave says, helps keep you warm. He pretends to shiver to paint a picture for his words. In my old home, in my real home, we were a family and our laughter kept us warm. We didn't need a magic switch on a wall. I nod to say yes, I understand, but I wonder if I will ever understand. Even if Dave stands here pointing and talking forever. Goodbyes. I'll be going now, Keck, Dave says, but I'll see you tomorrow. I smile to show my thanking. Remember that this will take time, he says. It isn't easy to make such a big change. Things are very different here. In the camp, I say, they call America heaven on earth. They say many things in the camp, Skanwar says. You'll see how wrong they were. Dave shakes his finger at Gonwar. You behaving lately, buddy? He asks with a smile. My aunt answers when Gonwar doesn't. He had another fight last week. Gonwar looks at the ceiling. At least I won. I'll talk to your counselor at school, Dave says. I wonder from his sound if he has said these words before. Gonwar and I will go to school together, I ask with hope. No, Dave says. Gonwar is in 11th grade, and you will be in 5th. He pats my back. Keck, if you need anything, have your aunt get in touch with me. I'm always here to help. I will be okay, I say. Using my best English words, soon I will make snowballs. I make a big grin so that my new friend Dave will not worry. I wonder if he can tell he, it is a pretending smile. Keck, my aunt says, he's a good boy. He will try hard to make his new life work. I can hear her struggle to find the English words just like I do. My aunt glances at Ganwar. You'll see, Dave. Keck finds sun when the sky is dark. Ah, says Dave, an optimist. I look away. I cannot find any sun today, I think. Dave shakes my hand. And when the door closes behind him, I'm surprised I, that I feel afraid a little bit. Dave isn't like my father, not at all, but it's been good to have someone watching over me, even just for just a little while. It's been a long time since I've known that feeling, like a soft blanket on a night when the wind howls. Father. He had many cattle, my father, and the respect of our village, but it was his voice that made him a rich man among men. His voice was deep, like a storm coming, but gentle, like the rain ending. My people are herders. We move with the seasons, with the wet and the dry, so that the cattle may be strong and well fed. We cannot carry much with us, so our stories don't make their homes in heavy books. We hold our stories in our songs. No one knew more songs than my father, and no one sang them with a voice as clear and sure. He knew songs of the stars and the wind and of love and betrayal, of war and regret. Always the villagers would beg, just one more song, Doc. Our ears long for one more story. At night, before we went to sleep, my father would make new songs for my brother Luol and I and me. 
He sang my favorite the night he was killed. The crocodile snaps, still Keck swims. The feet bleed, still Keck dances. The calf vanishes, still Keck searches. The sandstorm blinds, still Keck laughs. My stubborn Keck, my willful son, if you tell me you can dance with the wind, if you tell me you can sleep with the lion, if you tell me you can harvest the stars, how can I doubt you, my son? Bed. We must feed you. My aunt speaks in my language the right way, with the notes where they belong. Gonwar will show you the other rooms. There are more, I ask? How can that be? You have a kingdom here. A TV machine, a sitting place, a cooking fire. The smile on Gonwar's face is a surprise. Suddenly, I remember him playing with my brother. Boy, wild boys chasing each other like lion and prey, searching out mischief in every corner of our village. Gonwar, le Gonwar leads me to a little room. For bathing, he instructs. But watch out, the water comes hot and fast. I point to the magic water pot, like the one on the flying boat. You don't go outside? He laughs. It would turn to yellow ice. I laugh too. Gonwar stares at me. Always his eyes seem to know more than I will ever know. You laugh like your brother, he says. He is quiet. His grin is gone. Too bad I do not look like him, I say and I am glad to see Gunwar smile return. It means we will not talk of why I am here, and Lul is not. Too bad for sure, Gunwar agrees. I have a silly face to tell the truth of it. I have the eyelashes of a girl, as Lul and Gunwar like to remind me. My ears look like they want to fly me away, and my smile takes up most of my face. My brother was the handsome one, Everywhere, girls watched him with shy, smiling eyes. Another room is waiting on the floor. Lie blankets and pillows like gentle dunes. I run my hands over covers, softer than a new calf's coat. Just one mattress so far, says Gonwar, and his voice tells me this is not a good thing. Dave says maybe he can find more soon. You and I will sleep in the other room. We'll take turns on the sofa. Sofa, I repeat. It's a long chair. You can sleep on, Gunwar explains. You don't need to share, I say. I'll try not to get in the way. You know you are welcome here, Gunwar says, but I cannot tell if he means his words. It's a strange pain to be with those you belong to and feel like you don't belong. Carefully, I take a step onto the blanket cloud. I stumble, then stand, then jump and jump and fall and jump some more. Gunwar shakes his head. You haven't changed, my cousin, he says. You're still a crazy little boy. I stop my jumping. I'm not a little boy, I think. Not anymore, but I keep the words in my heart. Brother. My brother, Luol was Gonwar's age, and just as tall. Maybe that's why he tried always to tell me what to do. Have you lost your ears, my stubborn brother, he would say? You must listen to our father and mother. Soon you'll be a man, not a silly boy. I would sigh, I would laugh, and once I even slipped two snakes onto his sleeping mat while he lay snoring. The whole village awoke to his screams. I know it was wrong to do, but they were harmless snakes, and when I saw Lul's face, I laughed until my eyes rained. Every day, Lul scolded, and every day I thought, Lul, please just be my brother. I don't need two fathers. I didn't know that too soon I would not have any. Still, though, he could peck at me like a sharp-beaked bird. Lul knew how well to make his little brother laugh. Luol knew well how to make his little brother laugh. 
He would have known a soft bed was made for jumping. He would have growled at me for misbehaving. But then, when no one was looking, he would have jumped just as high. I would have given all the beds in all of the great world to feel the sharp thorn of Luo scolding once again. TV machine. My aunt makes food on, a cook on the cooking fire. We eat simply with tastes and smells of my home. And we talk with the words and sounds I know sweet in my mouth. But the more home returns to me, the more I remember all I've lost. I feel the holes where my mother, my father, my brother should be. My uncle, my aunt's husband, and their other children too. Two girls younger than Ganwar. Sometimes it seems to me a hole can be as real and solid as a boulder or a tree. Outside flakes tap at the window like stubborn mosquitoes. I try out the word snow, then shiver and shake, just like Dave. My aunt lets a smile go free. I have to go to work now, she says. What do you mean work? I want to know. Mama helps at a house for old people, Conmar explains. His mouth is a line. It is not a good place. It's called a nursing home, my aunt, says my aunt. And they pay me money so that I can buy things. It takes a lot of money to live here in America. But it's night, I say, and it's cold. My aunt touches my shoulder. You're a good boy, Keck. You are your mother's child. Mama will be glad to see you, I say. I hope she gets here soon. My aunt looks at me with questions in her eyes. She glances at Ganwar. He looks away. Don't hope too hard, she says in a whispering voice. And then she puts on her coat and leaves. When she's gone, Ganwar and I watch the TV machine. I'd seen one at the airport and on the flying boat, but this machine has many more stories, more colors, more happy people and mad people. People are dancing and singing and shooting and kissing so many people, but they still cannot fill the holes in the room. Night. The pillow, like a mound of grass under my head, is good comfort, and the blanket is warm as afternoon sun, but still I cannot sleep. Ganwar lies without moving, but I know somehow he is not sleeping either. After a while, Ganwar sits up on his elbows. He's just a shadow to my eyes. What's that cloth you're holding, he asks. It's from the camp, I say. It's true. True enough. I don't want to say the whole truth. Are you glad that you're here, Ganmar? I ask. He breathes in and out. In and out. This is a good land, he says. There's great freedom here. But even when you travel far, the ghosts don't stay behind. They follow you. You come here to make a new life, but the old life is still haunting you. We don't say anything for a few minutes. Finally, Ganwar speaks. They're all gone, Keck. They're all dead. I want to hate Ganwar for his words, but I'm too weary for anger. Already there are so many people to hate. Too many. Not all, I finally whisper. Not mama. He sighs. It isn't good to fool yourself. I've learned that much. Hoping isn't foolish, I say. If I can make it all the way here, then anything can happen. He shakes his head. Crazy boy, Ganmar says. Hoping doesn't make a thing true. Remember when you were no taller than my knee and you thought you could talk to cattle? They listened, I say. They just didn't answer.